uh, we know that uh, state space approach is uh, in some aspects superior to uh, transfer function function based analysis and design of control systems and uh, in uh, last lecture we learnt uh, how to obtain uh, state space representation from transfer functions and from differential equations and in today's lecture uh, we shall study how to obtain transfer function from a state space representation of dynamic systems we shall also learn how to represent state equations using signal flow graphs this is a uh, uh, state space uh, representation for uh, linear uh, systems uh, and uh, we want to obtain its uh, transfer function so the approach uh, is uh, simple uh, we can take the laplace transform of this first equation and uh, you remember that when we were talking about uh, transfer functions we were always taking initial conditions to be equal to zero so uh, this equation it's a uh, laplace uh, transform that is uh, given over here uh, when all initial conditions are equal to zero if initial conditions are not equal to zero then uh, you know that there is an additional term but for obtaining transfer function we take uh, initial conditions equal to zero and uh, laplace transform of x is written over here likewise laplace transform of u uh, that is written over here and uh, uh, we can rearrange this equation to write in this way uh, bring this term to the left hand side and take x of s common from both of the terms so here uh, we we are left with s multiplied by i where i is an identity matrix of uh, uh, appropriate dimensions the same dimension as uh, the size of this matrix a uh, and uh, this term a uh, that is over here and this is the right hand side uh, furthermore uh, we can uh, bring uh, this term to the right hand side and uh, this is a matrix multiply both sides with the inverse of this matrix so multiplication of uh, this matrix with its inverse we get uh, this expression over here and uh, this inverse on the right hand side is also multiplied uh, if we look at the output equation and also take the laplace transform of this equation uh, that is uh, simply over here uh, y of s is the laplace transform of y of t uh, this argument of all these variables is uh, the time variable t we are not uh, writing it again and again but that is understood this x is function of time u is function of time y is also function of time so its laplace transform is y of s uh, and likewise the laplace transform of the right hand side uh, this uh, x, of, x of s uh, that is given over here if we substitute that expression over here so uh, c multiplied by x of s this whole thing is x of s and uh, this term is written as it is over here and uh, you can take uh, u of s uh, common from uh, both of these uh, terms uh, and then you have uh, this expression uh, uh, u of s is taken common written over here and uh, this first term plus the second term and then simply bring u of s to the left hand side uh, to get the transfer function of uh, this uh, state space representation so that is simple if you are given the system matrices uh, a b c and d you can obtain a uh, transfer function by uh, this approach let's demonstrate it with the help of some example uh, here we have a state space representation of uh, a system uh, and we want to obtain the transfer function we know the transfer function uh, is given by this expression uh, that we derived on a previous slide uh, therefore uh, this uh, c matrix what is c matrix that is written over here uh, this uh, this i is identity matrix in this case identity identity matrix of size 3 by 3 this a matrix is over here and likewise d matrix is uh, this one and what is uh, d in this case d matrix is equal to 0 so that is uh, written over here c multiplied by s i minus a inverse this this term over here this matrix is s i minus a inverse multiplied by b plus uh, d is uh, 0 in this case 
and uh, here to compute this transfer function I need to evaluate the inverse of this matrix so you already know how to compute inverse of a matrix that can be easily done uh, that is given over here inverse of this matrix is equal to uh, 1 over determinant of this matrix uh, multiplied by uh, some matrix which uh, contains uh, cofactors that you already remember so I have not written all of these cofactors uh, I have written only uh, this one why only this one because uh, you see from here so whatever is uh, over here that multiplied with uh, these uh, zeros and this zero that will become zero so that is why I need not to compute this thing over here all these uh, things over here uh, I only need uh, this one which will be non-zero uh, is, is that clear and a determinant of this matrix uh, that is uh, simple uh, if for example we uh, we can expand uh, this determinant with any of the rows or any of the columns that determinant uh, is given over here 1 over determinant of this matrix that is written over here and this matrix what is that this uh, matrix contains the corresponding cofactors I have not written all of these cofactors not evaluated all of these you can compute evaluate whole of this inverse of the matrix uh, and uh, after multiplication you finally get this transfer function this is the same as uh, that was taken in uh, our previous example over there we had obtained state space representation of this transfer function and now we have state space representation and we have obtained its transfer function uh, you already remember that uh, state space representation is not unique for a system you can have different state space representations however transfer function is always unique whatever uh, you take the state space representation finally transfer function will come out to be the same we shall elaborate this point in more details in uh, some of our later lectures you can also utilize MATLAB uh, to uh, make this conversion this command state space to transfer function uh, that uh, needs uh, the arguments uh, this uh, system matrix A input matrix B output matrix C and feed forward matrix D so if you provide these uh, matrices it returns the numerator polynomial and denominator polynomial of the transfer function so you can uh, use MATLAB uh, to do this thing